No matter if you want to throw knives, grenades or literally anything else. In this tutorial I'm going to show you one simple script that can handle all of this. So let's get right into it. Open up a new script, call it whatever you want and we're going to start by implementing some variables. First, you'll need two transforms for your camera and attack point as well as a reference to the object you want to throw. Next, an integer for the amount of throws that you're able to do and a float for the cooldown after each throw. And last but not least, a key code for your throw key, floats for your throw force and throw upward force, as well as a bool to check if you're ready to throw. Now in void start, you just want to make sure that ready to throw is set to true. Also make a function called throw and in void update you want to check if you're pressing the throw key, you're ready to throw and you have at least one throw left. If this is all true, you can call the throw function. Inside there, you first want to set ready to throw to false again. Then you can spawn the object you want to throw by making a new game object variable and using the instantiate function to spawn your object to throw, at the position of your attack point with your camera's rotation. Next, get the rigid body component of the spawn projectile and calculate the force that you want to throw it with. For this, create a new vector free. Now you want to take the forward direction of your camera and multiply it by your throw force. On top of that, you're going to add your upwards direction multiplied by your throw upward force. This way, you will always throw in the direction you're looking. Now you can apply this force by referencing your rigid body and using the add force method. You want to use force mode.impulse because you're only adding the force once and not the entire time. Now let's head over to Unity and create the object to throw. This is extremely simple, just use whatever object you like. For this tutorial I'm just gonna create a default sphere, scale it down and add a rigid body. Here you can also decide whether or not you want your object to be affected by gravity. And of course, drag the object into a folder so it becomes a prefab. Next, create an empty game object and put it inside your player's camera. This will be the exact point where your objects spawn. Now you can add the throwing script to your player, assign the camera, attack point and your prefab object, set the total throws to 100 and the cooldown to 0.1. You can now also choose a different throw key if you want and for the force I'm going to use 70 and no upward force for now. If you hit play now, you should be able to throw objects. Ignore the fact that they're flying around like crazy, we'll fix that later. But the real issue is that if you stand back and aim exactly at the middle of the target, your objects don't actually fly there. This is because your attack point is probably not in the middle of your screen and therefore your projectile is flying a bit more to the side. So to fix this, you want to create a raycast that goes exactly through the middle of your screen and hits the target. And with the hit point, you can easily calculate the correct direction of your knife. So head back to your script and before you add the force, create a new vector free for the force direction. Now you can create the raycast. For the position, use cam.position, for the direction cam.forward, you want to store the hit point in your raycast hit variable and the range of the raycast is going to be 500, but of course you can change that. Now if you want the direction of point A to point B, you just use the position of B minus the position of A. So hit dot point minus attack point dot position. And you also want to normalize this. And if you now replace the cam.transform.forward with your calculated direction, everything should work. Now theoretically, this would be it. You now have a working script for throwing objects. But as a bonus, I'm also going to show you how to make your objects stick to a surface, even if it's moving, how to damage enemies and how to make this cool explosion effect. So create a new script for your projectiles and in there reference your rigid body and create a bool to check if you already hit the target. In void start you just want to assign the rigid body. Now open the onCollisionEnter function. 
This function will be executed as soon as your projectile hits another object. Now, if you already collided with an object before, you just want to return the function. But if not, you want to make the rigid body kinematic, so it can't move anymore. And also, you want to set the object your projectile collided with as its parent, so the projectile always moves with it. Don't forget to assign the script to your projectile, and if you now hit play, it should work just fine. Now to deal damage, just make a script for your enemies and open it up. This is going to be really simple. Just make an integer for your health and a take damage function that takes in an integer called damage. In there, just subtract the damage from your health and if your health is below zero, just destroy the game object. Now obviously, you also need to call this take damage function somewhere. So go back to your projectile script add an integer for the damage and in the onCollisionEnter function you just check if the object your projectile collided with has the basic enemy script on it. And if so, you want to deal damage to this enemy and destroy the projectile afterward. Now I just assigned the enemy script to my targets, set the health to 100 and the damage of my projectile to 20. If I now shoot 5 projectiles at my targets, they will get destroyed. And now for the grenades and explosions. A detailed explanation would be beyond the scope of this video. But as always, I will upload all of the code as well as the entire project file to my Discord server. You can download it there totally for free and in there you will also find an upgraded version of the projectile script where I implemented the explosion. And everything is commented, so you should be able to understand the code. Now we're almost done with the tutorial. I just want to give you my top 3 recommendations on how to use this throwing script. Number 1 would be throwing knives like Jet and Valorant. For this, you can use these values and make sure that the gravity of your projectile is turned off. You can also get this asset and watch this tutorial in order to improve your graphics. Now number 2 would be shooting arrows. Here you have the values and this would be a free asset you can use. And number 3 is of course this cool grenade. Here you have the values and you already know how to get the explosion code. And now thank you so much for watching. If the tutorial has helped you in any way, then please like the video in return. And also make sure to subscribe, because I'll be uploading a lot more helpful tutorials in the future. And yeah, best of luck with your coding projects.